Here, let's see, we're gonna make a fire sandwich. Da -da 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 -da, a fire sandwich. You see the flame trapped in between the screens. Hey, it's good to have you back here at Faraday Studios. Isn't it a nice looking group of people? Yep. There's that one handsome guy right there. Look at that. Yep. Well, you asked me a question the other day that I thought deserved an answer. You pointed something out in the studio, didn't you? Yeah. And do you see it? Remind me what it was. Yep. That lampish thing. That lampish thing. This, this is called, a, well, I won't tell you what it's called. I'm going to give it away because we're going to try to figure out why it's built this way. And if you look at it, you see it's made out of brass. I, mean, I think it's brass. Yeah, looks like yeah. brass. It's brass. Got a little pot down here. And this top part unscrews. And you see it's made out of, what is this right here? Do you see what it is? Uh, like a filmish thing. We call it screen. It's a scientific word, is screen. So right there, it's got this tube. Yeah. And it's got a little wick right there, which I'm gonna light. Sweet, it's over. Puts off some light. Now, believe it or not, this device is famous. It changed the world. How? That's what we're gonna answer. See, you're thinking like a scientist. This is great. I'm gonna push this over to the side. We're gonna figure out why a flame inside a screen could be such, it was a tremendous deal. This is called a, a Bunsen burner. You remember this thing? Yeah. yeah okay. So I'm gonna light the match first, turn on the gas. I can't. I bring the match up to the side. There we go. Do you think the gas that's coming through this tube could pass through this screen? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna slide it right on there. Little drum roll, please. Da -da -da. Oh, look, it just went right through. Yep. No problem, right? Yep. Well, I want you to grab your beard and get ready for this. I'm gonna take the same screen and I'm gonna come down this way. I so. honestly have no clue how that is possible. You have no clue. Well, well, metal is a very good conductor of heat. It is. And so it's probably stealing the heat from the flame and putting it in itself. And so that that's how the flame can't pass through. So if the gas is going through, like that, is it? Oh, you can see it, you see that? Yep. I was right. There was a little, yep, we got a little, we got a little, oh, you can see it off the top of the match. Of course, it's going back out because yep. I'm shaking. Well, that's, so the gas is going through. But not the fire. Because but not the it, fire. Because fire needs three things to work. It needs uh, fuel, yeah. oxygen, and heat. I'm going to capture that flame between two screens. Okay. I'm going to take this one down here. Slide it through. And I'm going to take this one up there. And if you look, what, what's going on? Is there, a is there a flame down below? Yep, no. No? Up, up above? Oh, yep. there it was, it got to him. Here, see, we're gonna make a fire sandwich. Da -da 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 -da, a fire sandwich, you see the flame trapped in between the screens. That was the secret of the fire sandwich. Yeah. But if we wanna go a step further, we're gonna make a reverse fire sandwich. Can we get fire on both sides, top and bottom, and nothing in the middle. I almost had it, do you see that? Yep. You see it right there? Yep. Reverse fire sandwich, there it is, right? Reverse fire sandwich. It only works for a little while until the screen gets hot. Reverse fire sandwich, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, right here at Faraday Studios. Da -da -da -da. There's a gap in the center, right? Mm -hmm. And there's no flame, fire. no fire, but there's fire above and fire below. Yep. That is a pretty cool experiment. So, Grab your beard, Elliot. Look at that. Look at that lamp. What is so special about that lamp? The fire won't go out of it. The fire won't go out of it. Won't come through there, right? Mm -hmm. So it's you're less likely to burn yourself. Less or likely. Set something else on fire. Or set something else on fire. You're thinking. This is called a Davy safety lantern. And you know, 200 years ago, especially in Europe, they've used coal for just about every hall heating, cooking. They had coal, they had coal miners, lots of coal miners. Yeah. And they go down in the ground 
and they'd be digging along. They'd make a lot of dust in the air, hmm. coal dust. And every once in a while, you would you, light something, and it would set all the coal dust on fire. Set the coal dust on fire, and those people would die down there, or they'd blow the mine up, or they'd hit a pocket of gas. You know, natural gas, boom. But the only way they could light things up back then was with flames, I guess. And they had helmets that had little uh, candles on them. And then they'd go on there digging along and also make too much dust or they hit a pocket of gas. And, well, I am. And Sir Humphrey Davy at the Royal Institution where Father Faraday worked, developed this Davy safety lantern. And there it is. They could so take that's this. That's how it revolutionized the world. Revolu revolutionized the world. Can you imagine? Now explain. So explain to me how that lamp works. Well, the same way as the fire sandwich. Yeah. That's sucking all the heat from that, so it doesn't have enough heat to light something. And now you you are one of the few people that know the secret of the uh, Davy safety lantern that we have here. A 200 year old lantern we keep hanging on the wall. Me and everyone else who watches this awesome video. All these people that are watching, you're right. That's right. And where do they watch us? On on YouTube. YouTube. Patreon. On Patreon. Yeah, we like Patreon people. Yes, sir. TikTok. TikTok. And I forgot the other thing. Starts with an I. N S T A. And Instagram. Instagram. There we go. Never know where you'll find Midnight Science Club. Join us, would you? And welcome to the knowledge of the Davy Safety Lamp and the secret of the fire sandwich. <laughs>